Welcome to our educational video on neoplasia. Let's learn about the characteristics of tumors. The characteristics of tumors are described under the following headings. Rate of growth, cancer, phenotype, and stem cells, clinical and gross features, microscopic features, local invasion, and metastases. The rate of growth. The tumor cells generally proliferate more rapidly than the normal cells. Generally, benign tumors grow slowly and malignant tumors grow rapidly. The cells of benign tumor have less mitotic rate, that means more doubling time. But the cells of malignant tumor have more mitotic rate, that means less doubling time. So malignant tumor cells have slower death rate, that means cell production exceeds that of cell loss. Let's look into the cancer phenotype and stem cells. Cancer cells exhibit antisocial behavior compared to normal cells. Cancer cells are like the rebels of the cellular world. They ignore the rules normal cells follow. Normal cells grow in controlled manner, do their job, and balance growth with death. But cancer cells, they multiply without restraint, ignoring signals to stop or die. They start from one rogue cell that multiplies clonally. There's also this special group called cancer stem cells, which can keep renewing themselves, create different cell types, and are found in diseases like acute leukemias and other cancers. These cells are like the masterminds behind the cancer's persistence and spread. Compared to normal cells, cancer cells exhibit antisocial behavior as under following. Cancer cells proliferate rapidly due to disobeying growth controlling signals and escaping death signals. Cancer cells lose differentiation properties, come genetically unstable, and invade neighboring tissues. Cancer cells can travel from the primary site to other parts of the body, forming distant metastases. Let's look into the clinical and gross features of benign and malignant tumors. First, we look into the clinical features. Benign tumors are slow-growing, asymptomatic, or cause symptoms depending on location. While malignant tumors grow rapidly, have potential for ulceration, invasion, metastases, and systemic symptoms. Invasiveness and metastases are the key features of malignant tumors. Next, the gross features. Benign tumors are spherical or ovoid in shape, encapsulated or well circumscribed. They are freely movable, more firm, and uniform. And the surrounding tissue is compressed. Next, the gross features of malignant tumors. They are irregular in shape. They are firm and poorly circumscribed. They extend into adjacent tissues and the surrounding tissue is invaded. Sarcomas have fish flesh-like consistency. And the secondary changes like hemorrhage, infarction, and ulceration are seen more often. The microscopic characteristics of tumor cells are of greatest importance for recognizing and classifying the tumors. These features which are appreciated in histologic sections are as under Microscopic pattern, cytomorphology of neoplastic cells, tumor angiogenesis and stroma, and the inflammatory reaction. Let's understand each feature first. First, the microscopic pattern. The tumor cells may be arranged in a variety of patterns in different tumors. The epithelial tumors generally consist of acini sheets, columns or cords of epithelial tumor cells that may be arranged in solid or papillary pattern, as you can see in the shown histologic slides. The mesenchymal tumors have mesenchymal tumor cells arranged in interlacing bundles, fascicles, or whorls, usually separated by the intercellular matrix substance like hyaline and lamioma, cartilaginous matrix and chondroma, osteoid and osteosarcoma, or reticulin network and soft tissue sarcomas. And certain tumors have mixed patterns like enterotoma arising from totipotent cells and pleomorphic adenoma of salivary gland. Let's look into the cytomorphology of neoplastic cells. The neoplastic cell is characterized by morphologic and functional alterations, the most significant of which are differentiation and anaplasia. Let's understand what is differentiation first. Differentiation is defined as the extent of morphological and functional resemblance of parenchymal tumor cells to corresponding normal cells. Then what is anaplasia? Anaplasia is defined as lack of differentiation and is characteristic feature of most malignant tumors. There are mainly 10 different features that define malignant tumors from benign tumors. Loss of polarity, pomorphism, nucleocytoplasmic ratio, anisonucleosis, hyperchromatism, nucleolar changes, mitotic figures, tumor giant cells, cytoplasmic changes, DNA aneuploidy. Now we will discuss each feature of anaplasia. The first feature is loss of polarity. The epithelial cells typically have basal polarity where their nuclei are oriented along the basement membrane. This property is due to cell adhesion molecules, especially selectins. Tumor cells lose this polarity, causing their nuclei to move away from the basement membrane. 
The next feature is polymorphism. It is variation in size and shape of tumor cell. It is usually not present in benign tumors, but in malignant tumors, it is often present. The next feature is nucleocytoplasmic ratio. The nuclei are enlarged is disproportionate to the cell size so that the nucleocytoplasmic ratio is increased. In normal cells, it is 1 is to 5, but in anaplastic cells, it is 1 is to 1. The next feature is anisonucleosis, in which nuclei show variation in size and shape in malignant tumor cells. The other feature is hyperchromatism, which is due to increase in the amount of nuclear protein resulting in dark staining of nuclei. The next feature is nuclear or changes. The malignant tumors have a prominent nucleolus in the nucleus. The next feature of anaplasia is mitotic figures. The parenchymal cells of poorly differentiated tumors often show large number of mitoses as compared with benign tumors and well differentiated malignant tumors. Tumor giant cells is another feature of anaplasia. The multinucleate giant cells containing a single large, bizarre nucleus with nuclear characteristics of adjacent tumor cells are another key feature of anaplasia in malignant tumors. The next feature is cytoplasmic changes. The structural anaplasia in tumors is accompanied with functional anaplasia as appreciated from the cytoplasmic constituents of the tumor cells, and there is increased mucin in malignant tumors. The last feature is chromosomal abnormalities. All tumor cells have abnormal genetic composition. During division, they transmit this genetic abnormality to their progeny. More malignant tumors have more marked chromosomal abnormalities, including deviations in morphology and chromosome number. So, most malignant tumors show DNA in aploidy. The next feature in the microscopy is tumor angiogenesis and stroma. The connective tissue and its vascular network form the supportive framework for parenchymal tumor cells to grow and receive nourishment. The new blood vessels form from pre-existing ones to nourish growing tumors. Tumor cells produce angiogenic factors such as vascular endothelium growth factor that influence this process, and the collagenous tissue in the stroma may be scanty. Bundan. The next feature is inflammatory reaction. Prominent inflammatory reactions can occur in and around tumors, sometimes due to ulceration and secondary infection. These reactions can be acute or chronic, but some tumors show chronic inflammatory reactions, chiefly of lymphocytes, plasma cells, and macrophages without ulceration. This is the host cell-mediated immunologic response to destroy the tumor. The next feature is local invasion. Most benign tumors form encapsulated or circumscribed masses that expand and push aside surrounding normal tissues without invading, infiltrating, or metastasizing. Malignant tumors also enlarge by expansion, and they are distinguished from benign tumors by invasion, infiltration, and destruction of the surrounding tissue. The next feature is metastases. Metastases is defined as spread of tumor by invasion and such the way that discontinuous secondary tumor mass are formed at the site of lodgment. Metastases and invasiveness are the two most important features to distinguish malignant from tumor. Remember that benign tumors neither show metastases nor local invasion, but malignant tumors show metastases and local invasion. There are some exceptions. Gliomas. Central nervous system and basal cell carcinoma of the skin do not metastasize. These are the differences in characteristic features of benign and malignant tumor shown in tabular format. It describes the difference between the benign and malignant tumor in clinical and gross feature, growth rate, local invasion, metastases, prognosis, and microscopic features. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.